guys, today we're going to be taking a look at what's in my eye. We're going to be taking a look at Florisis, which is a Chinese, I guess it's a luxury brand. This is their face palette. They sent me a couple of months ago. And you can use this on your face and on your eyes. It's multifunction. Here we have a highlighter. This can be contour, blush, and I guess this is powder. And they also sent me a lot of lips. So I've got four of these. This one I just want to hold aside. And these are regular glosses. And then they sent me four of these. We're going to do swatches because one of them is green. And these are moussey mattes, which is my favorite kind of matte. One of these colors is absolutely stunning. But First, let's do the face. I have already done my foundation. I'm wearing the Jane Iredell today, which several people have told me is going to be discontinued. Just my luck, because it's so pretty and so different than everything that I have. And yeah, it doesn't look like anything at all on the skin. Oh well, it happens. So let's uh, do some swatches. You can see that this has beautiful, you kind of hate to swatch it because it has this beautiful engraving in it. I don't think engraving is the correct word. Blush, contour, and highlighter. And that highlighter is so pretty. And there you have it. I want to start with the eyes and full disclosure, I broke my tooth and had to go to the dentist yesterday and I thought, let me just put this on. I was really surprised. This color is a fantastic color on my eyes, but what surprised me was when I was done, I went into the other room. I don't even think I had my lights on when I was doing this. And I went into the bathroom and looked in the mirror and it looked so well blended. It looked like I spent 20 minutes blending it and I didn't, so I assure you of that. While it is a contour for the face, I think for the eyes, it's also quite lovely and kind of a one and done. It gives you just a little bit of shape and that's something that I need being that I am so darn hooded. So while I'm doing this, let me tell you about my adventure with my broken tooth. Lately, I have been into popcorn and I'm not sure if I said that in a video, but I think I might've said it in the community page, which I'm much more active than I've used to be in the community page. And when I get emails about sales and whatnot, I put it in there and sometimes I spend hours. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, on websites and, you know, if I see something pretty clothes-wise, I'll tell you there. Now I'm gonna go into this and just do brow bone. I've been very, very into my popcorn lately. I've never been into popcorn like this before. And I use nutritional yeast, and Trader Joe's has this truffle flavoring, and garlic salt, and I really have fun with it. I make it in the microwave, which all you need is something with a lid that's microwave proof. I just do it in a glass bowl, and then put a silicone bowl uh, lid on top of it and I do it either in coconut oil or butter. I love me some butter. And anyway, I've been really doing a lot of it. Okay, so there's the eyes. It's just so easy and pretty. Like that Patrick Ta palette that I really enjoyed so much, the Major Dimensions, it kind of does that same thing for me, except for this is cooler, but it's not actually cool. Now, this is not my jam. I don't care for these kinds of colors, but it's what I did yesterday and I thought it worked really nicely. I'm just going to use it right over here. Nothing articulated, it will just add a hint of color. So I've been eating a lot of popcorn. There have been days when all I eat is popcorn and I think, wow, I really need to get some protein in there <laughs> and I'll make some tuna or I'll have some chicken with cranberry sauce since it's, you know, available right now. Chicken and cranberry sauce is fantastic. And there you go. It's just super, super easy. It adds a teeny bit of something else besides that brown to it, but it's not something that's super in your face. Anyway, 
I was at the dentist and I said, wow, you must get a lot of people from popcorn kernels. And she said, I do, but she named two other things. And I can't remember what one of them was, but here's her number one thing now. Metal straws, breaking people's teeth. I'm just, this is my PSA, you guys. You might want to think twice about the metal straws. Let's do a little contouring on the face. We're going to pick some of this up. Yeah, payoff is right away. This is squirrel, thank God. If I went in with something that was goat, I would be in trouble right now. Hello, contour. Whatever's left down here. Let me get a close look of this. It blends in really effortlessly. And now I'm going to go with my Chikahoto blush brush and I'm going to go with this one. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Maybe it would show a little better what I'm trying to do here if I used a foundation that was full, full coverage. But I just don't find this kind of color is fantastic on my complexion. There. But now you can see it a little bit, right? I'll just get some right up here. I'm going to pick up a little bit more and just kind of get it up here so the cheeks and the eyes relate to each other a little bit. And just do a big fat C like this. There. All right, now I'm going to go in with this Bobbi Brown brush. This is an old eyeshadow brush, and we're going to try the highlighter. Oh, I thought it was kind of yellow, but I think there's a little bit of pink in this. That's really pretty. Okay, when I'm looking in this mirror, it's, um, if you like a strong highlighter, you're going to get it here. Let's try a little of the nose. Super pretty. Super pretty. I'm so surprised. So here it is here, and I, when I'm looking in this mirror, I don't see any pinkness. It looks like a really nice champagne. Oh, why don't I just put some up here? Why don't we just go for it? Whatever's left up here. That is super, super pretty. It just, <laughs> it's, it's stronger than I thought it might be. That's okay because they sent me some powder too. So let's try their powder and then we'll go on with the lips. So this powder isn't unusual, right? You don't unscrew the whole thing. You do a half twist and then open it. And there's this, this is one of my favorite colors, but I can't hold on to anything today. And there's a little net right here. So you can pick up like that and roll, or you can pick up with a brush. But this appears to be a whitening powder. It brings some brightness to the face that you may or may not want. And I got a little shine I'd like to get rid of. And I just am barely getting into that powder. But I do think brightening would be appropriate under the eyes. So I'm going to take my Wayne Goss and just kind of dip like that. The very little's coming up. That net is really good. It's just keeping the chunkiness out of your powder. I got a little bit of troughing right there. I'm gonna get the powder off and just use the tip to buff that. My hands are so cold it wouldn't it wouldn't have any effect. So yeah, I feel like powder is a little bit brightening a little bit whitening and maybe 
more appropriate for me, my style, in the center of my face than all over the face. But that's very powder anyway. I just want to get rid of that shine. But it's getting rid of the shine very nicely. So it feels nice. Yeah, love the powder puff. And that's a nice application. You could also go in with a brush like this. This is the 203 from BK Beauty. Or you can just use this to go over to make sure you didn't go too heavy with the powder puff. And gosh, while I'm at it, why don't I just do a little blend here with those three cheek products with this brush. So they're kind of seamless. Hmm. All right, I'm going to turn off the camera, do some liner, do some mascara, and come back. We're going to do swatches with these lip products and put two of them on. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to show you this one because this one I really, really like. The names are hard to find. I might have to put it in the description box. It says G301. So this gloss can be a stain. Smells like roses. And I love this color. This is Rose Kissed Lips. What is it called? Is it Rose Kissed Lips? Rose Stained Lips? I don't, I don't know. I think it was in a poem or something, but that's what this color is. It's just, that's what I think of when I put this on. But, take a little off and you can really make it more like a stain. I actually wore this to the dentist, and my lips still had color to them, but it didn't get in the way. It is a gloss, don't get me wrong, but when I pat everything off, it really is more of a stain, and then there's this remnant of an emollients going on without any stickiness or goopiness. But if you go on straight, it's not goopy at all. So, you know what, while we're talking, <laughs> let's just do some swatches. And then I'll come back with mascara already done, and we'll do the other one. So this is 301. That's what I just put in on, and I thinned it out a little bit, and I love it. This is 401, so it has a little bit more of a terracotta to it, but not terribly so. Ooh, 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 I like that. This is 501, and it's much more berry. These are really good colors, and it's super, super comfortable. And this is 101, which I feel is a little more terracotta, a little more orange towards this one. So these two are kind of related, and maybe you would say these two are kind of related. These are really, really pretty colors. Um, my lips are a little bit unhappy right now. It has been in the 40s at night here, and in California, we don't have things like insulation. My lips are really uncomfortable, <laughs> really unhappy right now. Plus I had my mouth open for an hour or more at the dentist yesterday, so I'm not going to do full lip swatches, but do let me know down below if you want me to do a short video where I'm putting all of those on. Now, I'm gonna do a little lining, a little mascara, we'll come back and we'll look at the other colors back in a flash. All right, so all I did was just my tight line and my Westman Atelier mascara, which I'm just really loving. Now, they've sent me four colors in this formula, and this one I set aside because this is crazy. <laughs> and I'm gonna put that on in a minute. But let's first swatch. This is green. I think this is their color, but it's not quite the color as the puff in the powder. And, you know, I'm not going to be doing that, but it's a stunning color, is it not? And these I've also tried. I love a moussey matte because a moussey matte is very comfortable, but some moussey mattes just go all over your face. They don't set at all, like the Giorgio Armani. I can't remember what they're called, but they have a moussey matte that can get a little smeary. Not a problem for me, but it could happen if you're not careful. And these are not like that. Now, the bottom of these are so small. Look at that. Hello. I cannot read this with a magnifying glass. So I'm going to have to look these up and put on my glasses and a magnifying glass and I'll have the colors down below. I'll just say first one, second one, third one. We'll figure it out. But let's just do some swatching. So this kind of shade I have seen before. 
This actually reminds me of Brave from Rare Beauty and is a great shade. It's kind of an everyday winter shade that's a little bit warm and would look beautiful with this look because the blush is kind of warm. And this shade is kind of brown. Also, not a bad shade. I'm going to put some of this on, but the next shade that I'm going to put on is stunning. There's something about this color. Browns can be scary. They can be super deadening. Hi, it's just killed me. Or browns can be have a little bit of life. There's some kind of undertone to this that gives it a vibrancy, although it's not a vibrant color. This is a beautiful brown. Really, really pretty. And it's set up already. It feels almost powdery on the lip is so interesting. It doesn't feel dry, but it, obviously it's set up. So it goes on moussey, but it sets up unlike the Giorgio Armani's, which never do. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty color. Now, let's see if I can get it off. Paper towel. Wow. <laughs> I didn't do a kiss test. I tried to get some off and a little came off, but I would say that this Well, probably, wow, okay, I got a baby wipe here. Okay, that is a little bit of work, which means this is going to stay on. This might even stay on through some meals. I'm just going to put a little, a little something on my lips here. I really don't recommend what I just did, doing a baby wipe on your lips. Probably a little bit harsh. Maybe an oil would have been a better idea, but I don't have an oil right in front of me, so I did that. Then kind of rehydrate the lips a little bit. And now we're going to go on with this color, which is just insane. Boom. Goes with the blush because it has that orangey thing to it. But I have never seen a color like this before. It reminds me of what Lisa Eldridge was explaining when she talked about Cinnabar. That that color was unremarkable to me. I felt like I had things like that. I think I even did some swatch comparisons. This color, I think, is what she was going for. There is something about this. I, I want to work on my shape. But it has almost a blotted look, but it's not, I, 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 I don't know, there's something about this formula. I like the color, it, it's not just the color, it's like there's a diffused look about it. And it's setting up already. Let me scooch in a little bit. This color is insane, and it works with everything else. So let's go over everything. This palette is beautiful. And while I said I think this might be a luxury brand, let me show you that. So pretty. These powders are beautiful, and I love them on my eyes. As I said earlier, it looks like I blended them for 15 minutes. Like it just sat there and did this forever, which is fantastic. Saves you a lot of time, has a beautiful, beautiful look. On the face, I don't love this for my skin tone. This same thing blends out, blends out like a dream on the eyes, and it does also on the face. But for my preferences and my skin tone, I don't like this as a blush. It's just not my style. This is beautiful and so interesting because I thought it was warm, but it, I saw some pinkness. It's pretty strong, so let me just uh, work on that a little bit. And this, I'm not sure how I would use this on the face, but I love it on the eyes. So the powders are beautiful. Obviously, this engraving, it's not engraving, it's the opposite where things come out, is stunning, 100%. Even though I think they might be a luxury brand, I'm not 100% sure, they're not luxury prices. These are very nice prices. I think the lipsticks are around 23, so Sephora-ish, but not Dior or Tom Ford-ish. Beautiful packaging, and yeah, for somebody else 
with a different skin tone on the face for me on the eyes. This powder, if you like a powder that is brightening, this is really, really nice if you're looking for something that doesn't impart anything. And I'm not saying that it imparts color, but I feel that it it is a white powder, like my Bi Terry is translucent even though it's white. I feel that this brightens up a little bit. For me, under the eyes, the center of the face, I don't mind that at all. The puff, of course, is beautiful, but it worked beautifully with the puff and it worked beautifully with my Wayne Goss powder brush. And then I just went over the BK Beauty to make sure I didn't have too much powder on. Even though I didn't pound it on with that puff, it's a very nice powder. It really, really is. I think for me, the star of the show, and I hate to say that because I do like this eye look so much. It's something that I need to run. I need to run some errands. I need to get out of here really quick. I'm going to the dentist, whatever, but I have to have something around my eyes because of my hood. I just feel like my eyes look this small unless I do something. This color, it's the color. But these lip colors are so pretty and so, I think they're a, a little more unusual. It's not your typical goopy gloss. I'm not a huge gloss person. I don't like the way most of them feel, but this doesn't feel like that. It feels like a gel gloss hybrid kind of a thing, and it's not too shiny. It's not heavy on the lips. And if you just put a little bit on, it's beautiful, although you can go more heavy, but it will still kind of stain your lips. And these are also really beautiful formulas. So these four are the mattes, and these four are the gloss. I think it's a hybrid, a gloss stain hybrid. Really, really, really lovely. And this is the color that I love for that rose bud lip kind of a thing. And this color, I do not have anything like it. It's getting darker and darker. <laughs> I gotta wrap it up, you guys. But I hope that I helped you look around this brand and see what's up. I know a lot of people have done this, and some people have done beautiful looks with it. I think Hindosh did a look with this, and I will put it right up here. And you know, he did an articulated look with a wing and the whole bit. But for me, you know, just a couple of shades up here, I think it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful powder and beautiful color story for me. And I think I'm just talking too much because I'm so thrown by losing the light. That's going to wrap up today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Do check the links down below. I will have the colors of the lips in the order that I swatched them. And that is important. And of course, links for these products. And yeah, I hope it was helpful. I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.